everything from the overall design to the integrated technology in the Antelope Audio Atlas i8 is more advanced than your typical studio monitor. And I'm going to go over some of the details, plus I'm going to get it connected to my system and we can hear and see what these things are all about. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where I know you can create great music at home. And if you're looking to upgrade your studio monitors in a big way, then the Antelope Audio Atlas i8 monitors are that upgrade that you're looking for. And I'm super thankful to Vintage King for allowing me to test these out. And they have more than just vintage gear. They have the latest software and hardware like the Antelope Audio Atlas i8. So be sure to visit them before you purchase your next piece of studio gear. All right, now the first thing I wanna get out of the way is the price. These are pretty much $5,000 for the pair. So $2,500 a piece. And for the typical home project hobby studio, that's probably going to seem like a lot, but for a more established and serious studio, then $5,000 for a really nice set of studio monitors isn't too bad, especially with what you're getting in the Atlas i8s. All right, now let's talk about the build quality a bit. These things, they are absolutely solid and they weigh just over 50 pounds each. So you want to make sure wherever you're going to be installing these, if it's on stands, if it's going to be hanging them from somewhere or on your desk, you want to make sure that it can handle that kind of weight because they are solid. They do weigh a lot and they feel like they're going to last you pretty much forever. And I think you can see my current studio monitor over my shoulder over here. This is a five inch studio monitor that I have, and you can see it stands about the same height as this one, but that one's actually on a 4U studio rack there. And this one is just flat on my desk. So it's not only going to be a huge upgrade in sound, but it's also a huge upgrade in size. Now, the cool thing about these is they're designed to be even smaller than what they sound like. So these give off the sound of a 12 inch woofer, but inside this is an eight inch woofer. And the way they do that is through the isobaric design. So it has this eight inch woofer that we see here, but also on the inside, we have another identical speaker that's enclosed. And that helps to give this the sound of a 12 inch woofer, which allows this monitor to have a smaller footprint. So that's the woofer. And then also up here, we have our mid and high frequency driver, and these are connected coax and this is going to allow you to set them on their side, so horizontally and not just vertically, and you're not going to get that comb filtering because of the way they've designed these. And that's really nice because with a speaker this size, you might want to have them horizontally. Maybe you want to mount them above and have them horizontally facing down at you. You have that versatility with however you want to install them. Now I'm going to flip this around and we'll have a look what's on the back. So on the back here, we have your typical XLR and TRS combo jack for your input. Now on these, you also have a digital AES three connection and you have input and output. So you can daisy chain these speakers which is really cool if you want to do surround with them or something like that. It gives you even more flexibility with how you want to use these. And then you'll notice that you have this integrated screen right on the speaker and that's going to help set these up and you can change some settings on the go by using this and you have the control right here very easy to use that way feels nice there is a usb port on the back now this isn't a usb speaker what the usb port allows you to do is connect it to your computer and then there's software where you can upgrade the firmware for this and then you can also adjust the settings that way instead of having to use this onboard screen. So it can make it easier if you need to change some settings on the fly, or if you just wanna set it up that way and have that flexibility available to you without having to turn your speaker around to use that screen. What I'm going to do now is actually connect these to the computer using the USB and we can see what that software is all about. I have the Atlas i8 connected to my computer with the USB cable right now. The power's plugged in, but they aren't turned on. And we're going to do that in a bit. But first, if you are interested in getting any more information on these, or maybe you want to grab them for yourself, be sure to visit Vintage King. You can grab these over there. You can compare them with other products, or you can completely outfit your studio through Vintage King. And of course, if you want some of that vintage gear, they have that as well. So be sure to visit Vintage King for all of your studio hardware and software needs. And they even have flexible payment plans to help you get your gear quicker. 
Antelope Audio recommends that we connect it to the computer first and see if there's a firmware update. And the way they recommend to do that is to hold in this button here, and then turn the power on. And then you're going to see this golden update on the screen here. So we can let go of that. And now we can connect our USB cable. It says setting up device, and it's going to take a little bit of time for the computer to install the driver for this. And then once it's set up, we're going to use the Antelope Audio launcher to activate this and do our firmware update. So you can see the Antelope Audio launcher has recognized the studio monitor right away. And it says there's a firmware install pending. So I guess we can just click to install it. All right, so it's finished doing that firmware update and now it wants us to activate it. So we'll click on activate and it says you've successfully activated your device. Click finish. All right, now we have the firmware updated. Let's just take a look at this control panel here, see what we have going on. So accessing all the settings on the screen here, we just hold down the button for a second and you'll see all of your different things that you can change and you can use the rotary here to scroll through those. And then when you wanna access something, you just push it in and you can see we have analog on here, but if we wanted, we could change that to whatever else we might have, but I need analog on there. And you can go through this and set it up however you want. There's lots of cool things in there. You can save presets. So if there's different ways you wanna use these to listen, different settings, you can have presets saved in there. And then that way you can easily revert back to whatever settings you might've had. Now, what I wanna do is get these actually connected and we'll give them a listen. What I should have mentioned in the previous part is that you need to update the firmware on each of these speakers. So after you do one, you gotta do the same thing to the other. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, what I wanna do right now is just play some music back. I'm going to play some music from the YouTube audio library. That way I don't get copyright strikes or anything. And I'm going to play it back. And I know it's not going to be perfect, but we can listen to what that sounds like. All right, so I know that's not perfect. I tried to put the microphone right about where your head would be while you're mixing. And yeah, you're going through the mic and all of that. So it's not a perfect example of what they sound like, but I can tell you they do have a lot of low end to them. So if you were to get these, you wouldn't really need a subwoofer unless you wanted one in addition to those, but they fill up the low end really nicely. And I have my subwoofer bypassed right now and I wouldn't need it. I could leave that disconnected and just use these for my low end and it would sound great. Now, if you want an audio interface to go with these, or maybe you're just looking for an Antelope Audio audio interface, then click the video on the screen over here. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.